Hello everyone. We will continue the topic validations and substitutions. And in the previous videos, we started with the practical part of validations. We took one requirement and based upon that requirement, we created a validation for the application area financial accounting for the call-up point document header. We created the validation. We created the step. We provided the prerequisite condition. We provided the check. We provided the message. And at the last, we simply activated the validation using OB28 transaction code. Now, it is very important to understand the difference between these two transaction codes. See, GGB0 is a common transaction code for validation maintenance. This is your GGB0. You can go for validation maintenance in any application area. So GGB0 is a common transaction code to create a validation in any application area. But OB28 is a dedicated transaction code for accounting documents or you can say financial accounting. Suppose in our current scenario, our requirement is to create a validation into accounting documents or financial accounting. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. You can create a validation through GGP0 transaction code because ultimately it is a common transaction code. Then you can simply activate through OB28 transaction code. But if you do not want to go to GGP0, it is totally your wish. You can simply, simply come to OB28. You can pass the name of the validation. System will ask you to create the validation. But ultimately, it will navigate to GGP0 only. But just important thing is this GGP0 is uh, we can create validation in any area, any application area. But OB28 is dedicated for financial accounting or accounting documents. If you want to go for validation into financial accounting or accounting documents, then only you can go for this particular transaction code and, and other things you cannot go. Suppose if I want to go for create, if I want to create a validation into asset accounting, then I cannot go for OB28 transaction code. OB28 is dedicated only for the financial accounting or accounting documents. Now, if I will come on to this particular slide, now you will get the clarity. GGP0 is a transaction code for validation maintenance. It is a common transaction code. But OB28 is for the validation of accounting document or financial accounting. I dedicately mention this particular word. Now, when we created the entry into OB28 transaction code, when I created an entry through OB28, the entry stored into which particular table? T002T. So it is a dedicated table for the validation of accounting documents only. Or you can understand in a way, whatever you are putting in OB28 transaction code, it is storing into T001T table. And this table will, do, will play a vital role whenever we will understand in the debugging mode. Now, I will come on to this important thing. Because with the help of this only, we will understand in the debugging mode how SAP is calling our validation. Now, what is this function module? G underscore VSR underscore validation underscore call. This is a function module which will call our validation. This function module 
will ultimately call our validation. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint into this particular function module and we will understand fully. This is our function model. G underscore VSR underscore validation underscore call. Now I will put a breakpoint into this function module. This is just a heart of this particular topic. Yes, because this function module will help us to understand how our validations are triggering. We defined, we created, but it's not a magic that SAP will call automatically. There must be some logic written to call those validation and this function module will help us to understand. Now, I will go to FP01 transaction code. You all know, yes, we created the validation for which transaction code FP01. I will give some document date. Now, I will give some different document type. Suppose for company code DE11, but the document type is allowed WE, but I am putting WA. Whenever I will put enter, have you seen I entered into debugging mode because I put a breakpoint into that function module G underscore VSR underscore validation underscore call. The term itself is suggesting function module name. This function module is for validation calling. Now I will go to desktop 2. You all know in desktop 2, you will be able to see the stack. How control came to this particular function module. So we can be able to see the stack into desktop 2. So this is the stack. Suppose I will come here. Validation underscore KOPF. Suppose I will come here. FI underscore validation underscore header in this function module. Have you seen SAP is calling this function module here? And before that, SAP is using which particular table? T001D. And I told you this particular table will play a vital role. And just see, SAP has put a condition if Active is equal to one. If active is equal to one, just see here. If I will go to this OB28 transaction code, you can see in this OB28 transaction code, one means what? Active. If the validation is active, if the validation is active, only in that case, SAP is calling our function module and just see what are the various things SAP is passing to this function module. If I will double click here, you can see this is our validation. What is the name of the validation? D type. You can see what is the call up point triple zero one header. What was our area financial accounting? And this function module is only, only triggering if the validation is active. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint onto this if condition also. And I will run that transaction code again so that you can understand that whenever this active is, whenever we have the value one for the active, only in that case, SAP is calling this particular function module. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I told you that it is very important to understand the difference between GGB0 and OB28. GGB0 is a common transaction code with, by which you can go for validation in any application area. But OB28 is only, only dedicated for financial accounting or accounting documents. And whenever you will put a entry through OB28, that data will store into t 001 Now, whenever you are going for validations, this function module will play a vital role because ultimately this function module, our validations will trigger 
because of this function module only and we will be able to see the code also in the next video whenever i will go inside this function module i will show you the code also how sap generated that particular code now that's it in this particular video we simply simply put a breakpoint i put a breakpoint into this particular function module I put a different document type. The control stops here. I went to desktop too because this is the best way. You can see, yes, how the, what are the various things in the stack. You can see the control, how various things are calling one by one. So we saw that SAP is calling this function module based upon the activation of T001D table. So I put a breakpoint there also. In the next video, I will run this again and I will show you how SAP is calling our validation. So that's it in this video. Thank you.